Hello and welcome to another of Consulting V1's presentations. Today we will be going through the process of creating the posting periods in SAP Business One. Posting periods are used for opening and closing the periods in the fiscal year for posting purposes. So we'll go into administration, head over to system initialization and open up posting periods. What we'll see in front of us is a list of all the posting periods that we previously have created. But what we want to focus now is the new period. So after we click on the button that says new period, we only have a couple of things to add. We have to add our period code. So I'm going to create a new posting period with this period code and this period name. I can specify the number of sub periods. Will it be a year, four quarters, 12 months, or a specific number of days? I want to do months, so I'm going to get number of periods 12. I can al also change that, but in most cases, we're going to leave it as 12 since we selected a new posting period for every month. The posting dates, the due dates, and the document dates will be calculated automatically, but I can change them according to my company needs. I can also specify the start of fiscal year and which fiscal year will it be in. Simply click on add, and if I was to scroll to the bottom of the list of the posting periods, I can see the 12 of my newly created posting periods. So as we can see, SAP adjusted everything automatically. Some of you might probably want to know what will happen if we create documents. So let's say the, the posting period year is coming to an end and I want to create a document at the end of the posting periods. If I check the create new periods with the due date in the next fiscal year, SAP will do that automatically for me. It's going to transfer the due date into the next fiscal year. So that's a little trick that I wanted to remind you of. So that concludes the presentation of the posting periods. As we can see, it was a pretty short presentation since there's not a lot of things to do in here and most of the things are pretty self-explanatory. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.